to do my book tubeathon reads. I wasn't sure if I was going to do the book tubeathon because I am literally just finishing the 30 day read challenge, which was a total fail for me. I'm going to do like a 30 day reads, like final recap video. I'll probably put that up tomorrow. But uh, yeah, so this was like a last minute decision to do the book tubeathon because I was like back and forth about it. But I figure, what the heck. For those of you who don't know, this was created by Ariel from Ariel Brissette and Raylene from Padfoot and Prongs 07. I will leave their original videos down below. It gives you all the information you need. So I'm not just going to be regurgitating everything that everyone has been explaining this challenge. If you don't know what it's about, just go and check out one or both of their videos. So this readathon, basically you just read as much as you can for a week. And there's also challenges, so the seven challenges. I will not be completing all of the challenges. Mainly, the number one challenge is to read 300 pages a day, and for me, that's just laughable. It's not going to happen. I couldn't even do the 150 pages a day for the 30 day reads challenge, so heck no, that's not happening. Mm -hmm. So the second challenge is read a book with at least 500 pages. And I will be attempting this one, The Wild Girl by Kate Forseth. I've already started on about 50 pages in. This is 511 pages. This one is, eh, ooh, that feels so good. This one is going to be a kind of difficult one for me to finish just because it's so boring. Like, I don't know, maybe it's going to get better, but it's just like historical fiction and it's about like the stories behind the Brothers Grimm and how they wrote their stories. And I was really excited to read this book, but now it just seems like a chore because the first like 50 pages were just like yawn. I had to force myself to read them. So I need to finish this book though so I can review it. The next challenge is going to be to reread a book and don't laugh, but I picked The Twits by Roald Dahl. And this is my favorite Roald Dahl book. And I picked it, like I don't really like to reread books as much just because I have so many books on my shelf that I have yet to read and I feel like my time should be spent reading those books and, you know, trying to broaden my horizons of books. I don't really reread books a lot, so I figured I'd pick something really, probably just knocked all over all my books. I just picked something really easy and short, like, it's a Roald Dahl book. So that will be my reread, The Twits. The next challenge is to finish a series or trilogy and for this challenge I have chosen Beautiful Redemption by Kimi Garcia and Margaret Stoll, which I have already started, but Whatever. And this, of course, is the fourth and final installment of the Caster Chronicles. And so far, I'm actually kind of enjoying it. It's not, you know, these books are generally kind of slow, so it's a lot of detail and stuff. But I'm really liking it so far. I kind of like the way I think that the story's going. So hopefully, I will enjoy this one and I will definitely be finishing this one for the challenge. The next challenge is to read a book that has been on your shelf the longest. Now I went through all my books and I'm like, well, I could choose one that's been on my shelf the longest, but I didn't really feel like reading that book. So I just picked one that's been on my shelf for a long time and one that I was already planning on reading this month anyway. And that is That Summer by Sarah Dessen. This will be my first Sarah Dessen book and I absolutely need to read it because what the heck is wrong with me? Why haven't I read one of her books yet? So hot. So this is going to be the one that's been on my shelf the longest. The next challenge is to listen to an audiobook, which I will be doing, but I just haven't chosen which audiobook. I'm thinking maybe The Wizard of Oz, possibly. Or if you know of any books that are really good to listen to on audiobook, please let me know down below so I can check that out because, I don't know, I just, I can't decide what to listen to. The last challenge is to read a classic and for this I have chosen Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. I've actually never read Peter Pan and I know it's a children's book but I'm still, it, I still, th I think this is a classic. Would you, I, I don't know, would you consider this a classic? Because I am. I think it's going to be something easy to read too so. I don't know, yay. So I'll be reading that for my classic. And then if I can manage to get through all of those books which We'll see if I can. I'm also going to be reading The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan, which is the third installment of Percy Jackson and the Olympian series, which by the way, 
I am loving so far. Jeff is on the last book right now and he's like about to finish it, so I need to catch up. So I'll be reading this one. And then also on my ebook, I will be reading Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. So hopefully I can do all of that. No promises. I will never promise that I can actually complete a challenge because who knows what happens in the run of a day. I have a full-time job, people, and a, basically have a baby. Wait, I'll show you. Look how big she is now. Say I'm growing. Hey, who's that? Who's that? Who is it? Hi. She doesn't know what's going on. Hi. Who's there? Tell you what, she's too heavy to lift. Sometimes I carry up the stairs just to see if I can. Those are the books that I am planning on reading for the Booktubeathon. Whoa, I almost fell off the couch. Jeff said that he would be interested in doing this challenge, but then he found out that it was only for a week, so he was like, no, because we just don't have time to read. <coughs> Woof. That is basically what's happening for this. This video needs to end. Thank you so much for watching. Please wish me luck on this challenge because I will definitely need it. And if you like what you see, please subscribe, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye. So hot in here. I'm sweating. Look. Cats. I'm like so sweaty. Yuck. Going to be Kaya. Yes. Oh yes. My big baby. Whoa. No, you're so heavy. She's like friggin' 50 pounds. 40 pounds. 30 pounds. I don't know. Sweaty. Uh.